Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're always notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm hoping to have lots of videos coming your way this summer, so stay tuned for that. So, happy National Nail Polish Day, polished people. This is such a fun holiday, and I think it's great that the nail polish community has its own holiday. I hope you had an awesome National Nail Polish Day. And I'm sorry this video is up a little bit late, but here it is nonetheless. So, I asked you guys on Instagram what video I should post today and actually a lot of you said you wanted to see my favorite 2019 polishes so far but I looked through my collection I realized that I don't have a lot of polishes that came out this year because I haven't been doing a lot of swatches or anything like that so I actually decided to pick the less voted for choice which was nail polishes I forgot I owned but I thought this was a fitting video for today because we get to take a look at some kind of ignored nail polishes so we can just look at some and see some new ones because I figured figured if I did a favorites video then you probably would have been seeing a lot of polishes that I've had on my channel recently and it would just be kind of repetitive. So I wanted to look at some polishes that I haven't talked about on my channel in a long time. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. I also wanted to mention that I did change up my nails recently. For a while they were a little bit chipped and messy because I hadn't had any time to go through and actually do some nail care and fix them up, but I finally had a chance to change up my manicure, so I trimmed all of my nails super short and I really like this length. It's great to start fresh this summer and currently I'm wearing Peace, Love and Polish and I will have that link in the description box if you're interested. And for all these polishes here, if I can find links for them, I will include them in the description box. So if you've been on my channel before, then you may already know this, but for a couple months I was moving around my nail polish and where I do my nails and things like that, so I had a bunch of my polishes packed away just while I was moving everything around. So basically, I have not seen several polishes in several months because they were all packed away and I was using only some of my favorites for a while while I moved everything around. So some of these polishes I forgot that I owned when I was going through them again now that I have them out. So I actually found this one. This is the polish that actually inspired this video. This is a really pretty polish and it is called I Want Some More. I think that's how you say it. This is from Sinful Colors and it's really beautiful. I haven't used this one in such a long time and I completely forgot I owned it. This video will actually be a mix of polishes that I completely forgot I own and then others that I just haven't thought about in a while so it's kind of a combination of those two. But this one looks really pretty and I really want to try this one again so I will probably have some swatch pictures of these soon and you can check that out on my Instagram. It's 360 nails and it will be linked in the description box. So this one's really lovely and I really like the color. It's kind of like an aubergine kind of gemstone kind of polish and it's really beautiful and I hope I can try this one soon. It looks like a nice color for a transition from spring to summer. And you can also see this polish featured in my purple sinful colors video. I will have that linked in the cards over here. This next one was also in my Sinful Colors purple video and this one is called Aubergine. This, like I said in the other video, doesn't really seem like an aubergine to me. This is kind of a more like berry tone polish, but this one I think I pretty much forgot I owned this one. I kind of remembered it, but I haven't used it in a long time and I don't really appreciate the formula on this one. It's just for a dark color, it's not very opaque, so it's kind of like a jelly that's not supposed to be a jelly if that makes sense. But this one has a nice color. I might wear this in the fall if I get the chance. I think this would be nice for an early fall manicure or something like that. So this one's nice. So that is Aubergine by Simple Colors. This next one actually wasn't one of the polishes that was packed away. This one I purchased last summer and I forgot all about it and I haven't used it in a while. So this one is beautiful. This is Jade Cat and I featured this in a, I think it was a swatch video that I posted. I had taken a break in the summer last year and then I came back and I did a bunch of hauls and swatches and things like that so I will link that in the cards. You can see this one swatched. It's so beautiful. It's a perfect kind of mermaid polish. It kind of has a foil finish and I'm looking forward to using this one for some mermaid nail art so stay tuned for that if you'd like to see that. That will probably be on my Instagram too. Next I have a couple from China Glaze and these aren't showing up great on camera but these both are from the Chic Physique collection which I swatched last year again I will link that in the cards but these two I just forgot all about these and they're very similar actually this one is called Pilates Please and it's a really nice peachy color I really want to wear this before spring is over it is just so nice and I really like the color it's not showing up great on camera as I said this one kind of looks pink on camera but it's very orangey a very orangey peach in person so this one is lovely. 
This one is Athlete Chic, also by China Glaze, also from the Chic Physique collection. This one's kind of a more carrot sort of orange, like a carrot orange with a drop of red in it. I don't remember the formulas in these, but I don't think they were that great. They were kind of like jelly cream polishes, and they just weren't really working great, but hopefully now that they've been around for a while, they might have thickened up a bit and be a little more opaque. But this one's a really cool color. I think this will be nice for the summer, so maybe I'll try this one again. Stick around for swatches, and you can also see swatches of these. I believe I posted most of them on my Instagram, so you can check that out if you're interested. I forgot all about this one. This one's really lovely. This is Pay It Fashion Forward, also by China Glaze. This one, I can't remember the name of the collection. It might have been the, maybe the New York Fashion Week collection or something. It came out sometime last year in the fall, I think, but this one's absolutely beautiful. It looks so great under this lighting. It's kind of a dark, kind of dusty purple color, and it has tons of shimmer and flakies in it. It's absolutely beautiful. This is my perfect kind of color for fall. I love wearing these kind of dark, murky, kind of purple, dusty colors in the fall. It's just so nice, and it just has like a nice, deep, complex color to it, and it's really pretty, so I'll definitely pull this one out again in the fall. It's beautiful, so that is Pay It Fashion Forward. A very cute name by China. This is another nice one I haven't worn in a really long time. This is called Let's Celebrate. It's a pretty old China Glaze. I can't remember the name of the collection, but I think it was one of the first collections. I think it was maybe the second collection where they included a matte polish. That's kind of what I remember about this collection. But I think it was a holiday collection. It was something to do with like holiday travel or something and it was so pretty. This is a really nice polish for, I wouldn't necessarily say Christmas, but I think this would be nice for New Year's. It just kind of reminds me of that. It's like a nice glitter bomb. It kind of has a nice like sparkly purple and it's just really unique. It's kind of a unique mix of colors. I don't really see polishes like this a lot anymore, but it's really nice. It's kind of interesting. I'll definitely pull this out again for New Year's. So that is Let's Celebrate by China. Finally for China Glaze, this one is called Sparkle On, and I haven't thought about this one in a really long time. It's not showing up great on camera, it's a pretty bright kind of Christmassy cherry red in person, but this one, I'm not a big fan of this polish just because I really don't like glitter jelly polishes because they're kind of hard to remove and they just get really clumpy sometimes, but this one is very pretty. I think this is perfect. I think I used to say this was kind of like your perfect kind of Rudolph's nose red for Christmas, but this one's really nice. This would be good for Valentine's Day too, but this one's really pretty, so maybe I'll try this again for Valentine's Day next year or Christmas or something. So. This one is very sparkly. Next I have this really beautiful blue from Finger Paints, the Sally Beauty exclusive brand. This one is called Asymmetrical, I think that's how you say it. And this one is very unique and I thought this was so beautiful. I completely forgot about this one and then I pulled it out and I thought it was gorgeous. So I might try this one again, but from what I remember, the reason that I forgot about it, I think I thought that I got rid of it because it just isn't a great formula at all. I was very disappointed with the formula of this polish because it was so beautiful in the bottle and then I just put it on my nails. It was super sheer and it may have even stained my nails. I can't really remember because it's been a really long time since I've tried this one, but maybe I'll give it another chance because it is really beautiful in the bottle. It's just so sparkly. It's kind of like a perfect sort of cerulean blue with this really pretty purple flash in it and has a lot of flakies. So maybe I'll try this another time. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see me try this polish again. Next I have some indies. This one is Turtle Tootsie Polish, which is such a cute name. I really like the logo on this one, it's very cute, but this one is called Peachy Keen and this was in the VIP bag at the Indie Shop Atlanta where I traveled to visit. That was such a cool trip and I really liked seeing all those polishes there, it was really fun. But this one is absolutely beautiful and I haven't thought about this one in so long. Of all the polishes I remembered from the event, I forgot about this one and I really want to use this again. This is great for summer manicures because it just reminds me a lot of sand. It's so sparkly and pretty and it's just your perfect kind of peachy sandy color and it's really nice. Again from the Indie Shop VIP bag, this one is called Stone Mountain and this is so beautiful. This has a really nice kind of concrete gray base with a lot of kind of super micro shimmer in there. It's really beautiful. It kind of has like a blue and purple kind of sparkle in it if you can see there. This brand used to be called what it says right now, which this is Smoky Mountain Lacquer, but currently it's called Music City Beauty. So this one is beautiful. I really want to use this one again, maybe in the fall. It's just so pretty and it's a really nice kind of neutral palette cleanser 
very nice and very unique. Our final polish for today is from Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish. This one is very unique and so pretty. This one is called VIP in the ATL and this is very, very unique. It has kind of like a murky purple gray base and it has tons of this kind of multi-chrome shimmer where it kind of has a pink flash and then it has, a, I think it might have a little bit of hollow in there because I'm seeing a lot of different colors in the light here, but this one's very unique. I completely forgot about this one and I think this is another great fall polish or if you like something sparkly and neutral for the summer, this might be a good one. But again, as for all these polishers in the VIP bag, unfortunately you probably can't find them anywhere, but if you have something similar, then this is a really cool color. So this one's very nice, and I want to try this again soon. I remember the formula being pretty good, so this one's really nice. That is VIP in the ATL from Poetry Cowgirl. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. So let me know in the comments if there's any polishes that you have that you completely forgot you owned or maybe just haven't thought about in a while. I hope you guys had a wonderful nail polish day and I will see you in my next video. Have a polish just for your day. Bye! By the way, before I end this video, I just wanted to ask you guys a quick question. Since I've had this background for most of the year, I started this background, I think it was in January, and now that we are six months into the year, let me know if you'd like to see different polishes in the background and if I should change my succulent in the background here. I want to maybe change up my background, so let me know what polishes I should change my polishes here to and if you want a different succulent over here because I would definitely like to change up this space for my videos. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see if you'd like me to change up my background.